Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another YouTube video by your buddy Chopadong here inside the DFS Army. Um, I am today going to try and put together a really quick video on some results and get in your mind, kind of in the right frame of mind to handle the volatility and variance inside baseball. We talk about it a lot inside the Slack channels of the DFS Army for our VIPs. And I thought I'd put out a little video here in case uh, some of you out there in the in the public world are dealing with the same things and kind of give you a snippet of information as to what we talk about on a daily basis inside the DFS Army to show you the value that you're missing out on by not being a member of our uh, outstanding community where we all kind of bootstrap each other, pick each other up and when we're feeling down and celebrate our wins together and just a community of like-minded individuals that enjoy playing DFS. Um, there's a lot of information, a lot of tools, maybe someday we'll go through those. This is just designed to focus on results a little bit, uh, kind of show you uh, my stuff here recently because I was on a massive downswing uh, last week. I've sort of righted the ship. We'll see if I can grind it back, but you can see all of these little losses in here, and you can see there are multiple lineups per day depending on the day, you know, three, four, five lineups a day. Yesterday I built six lineups, um, and... I uh, did, you know, almost got back everything that I put out there, and that's fine for a grinding type of day. Uh, I put out 10 bucks, got back 8. I don't mind that. Some days I put out 18, get back 40. Um, some days I put out 3 and get back 2, or put out 3 and get back 6, or whatever. The idea here is tread water on your bad days so that you gain more ground on your good days. Um, your good days are going to happen, but in baseball, they're going to be a little fewer and farther between than usual. Nobody is winning 50, 60, 70 percent of the contests that they put out there. I don't give a crap what the lineup providers are telling you out on the internet. They're so full of shit. It's not possible. The variance in this game does not allow it. So, in my opinion, variance uh, it dictates in baseball we fire more at upside type contests because if I'm not going to win more than half the time, I need to get back more than double my money when I do win. Um, I need to get back more than triple. I need to be in upside contests that pay me five times, ten times, twenty-five times earnings. Then those need to be my cash components as opposed to your more stable sports like your NBA and your and, and even football to a certain degree. Um, I kind of refined this idea in hockey. Um, if you follow me at all, this year I was playing hockey. I love the sport of hockey. I hadn't played it before in DFS because of other duties and things, and so last year was my first year playing it. I loved it. Um, very volatile, a lot like baseball. I felt it was the perfect primer for this baseball season, and it might be one of the reasons why I'm much more consistent in baseball this year than I have been in years past. Um, part of the reason why is, you know, in football, you put together a lineup, and it's pretty simple. You narrow down a player pool, and you can build one lineup and do just fine. You've got all week to prepare and read a lot of articles and get the best quarterback and the get best running back and the get and the best you know wide receiver and kind of piece together a really really good lineup. Personally, I started learning that it was easier to put together you know three lineups and then scatter them out through some contests, layer them in what I call a ladder system. Which if you go to dfsarmy.com, you will find under the general strategy tab or maybe the NFL strategy tab there's a free article out there called uh, revolutionize your game uh, the ladder system and a lot of people understand what that is now you layer double ups triple ups quintuple ups and whatnot so that as your lineup climbs the leaderboard you unlock more and more money um, baseball is a little bit different I'm not laying out ten bucks per lineup um, or you know 30 bucks a day like you know I'll lay out 30 to 50 bucks a week in NFL that's not a big deal I can't do that I can't do 30 bucks a day in baseball so I spread out and instead of playing double ups and triple ups I play leagues and I play tournaments and things like that because I want that upside to hit on the days I do well because I'm not hitting 50 percent of my contests or more so it's just a different way to attack the same thing it's a way a micro bank roller can handle even NFL. Um, something I encourage you to think about. I, that's what you would come to me for for advice. I'm a contest allocation guy. I am a bankroll management guy. Um, that's where I seem to do the best teaching and advising, um, you know, on a daily basis. But 
Anyway, digging back in here, I wanted to show you why. If I put out six lineups yesterday and only cashed in one of them, if I had only put out one lineup a day, that's six. I win one day out of six. I might win, you know, all the way Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, lose, 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 and then win on Saturday and get back all but two bucks of the week. I put out ten bucks over the week. I, I end up with a net loss of two bucks for the week, and I feel like a complete turd. Uh, like I suck and like this game doesn't work and um, I'm doing something wrong and I've been a beginner I've been a rookie I know exactly how that feeling feels and it's wrong it's not it's not right if the fundamentals are in place and you're building fundamentally sound lineups what you're missing is volume because whereas you can take one shot a day I'm taking six shots a day if I have one or two lineups per day that do well I'm gonna feel a whole lot different about my day than you are about yours if I get back eight bucks after putting out ten bucks on a day, oh well, no big deal. Lost two bucks. I can lose two bucks and definitely um, and play DFS and enjoy the hobby and have a great time. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to win sometimes, right? Now, if I was putting out just one lineup a day, I would feel crappy all week long until the end of the week. And or last week I must have put out 20, 25 lineups before I finally cashed in one because I had a bad week. That was going on almost a month if I was doing one per day. That would be very frustrating. Most of us would quit. We'd say it doesn't work. We'd kick our dog. We'd beat our kids. We would do all sorts of unspeakable things, maybe drink more beer, uh, watch less TV, and give up on our favorite sports. And that's not really the right mentality because yeah, I, you didn't do anything differently than I did. I just crammed it into a shorter time frame than you did, and I feel much better about my game. So if I was you playing baseball, I would get used to building maybe three lineups a day, put them in dollar contests, um, smaller leagues and maybe a GPP here or there, and get used to grinding up a bankroll. You'll feel much better about your skill level when it comes to that. Um, get out of the 50-50s and stuff and start playing 10, 20-man, 100-man leagues, stuff like that. If you can cash in a – if you're building scores of 150 to 200, you're fine. You know, if you build three, four, five lineups and one of them or two of them hit 150 to 200 points, you're fine. You're going to cash – quite a few times and you're going to soften the blow. Also by spreading out that wide net it allows me to take different players, it allows me to take different combinations, it allows me to hedge my bets a little bit like I didn't have to go all in on Strasburg yesterday. I went uh, mostly Strasburg and a lot of Porcello and both of them shit the bed which was pretty rare circumstance quite honestly but it happened and I hedged with one Darvish lineup and one um, DeGrom lineup and the DeGrom lineup did well. If we look at where we did well, uh, fourth place, eight bucks, yeehaw. I'm, I'm more concerned about the point, the total of 200 points. That's, that's the good thing. If you make 200 point lineups, you're going to do well. Uh, we've had some high scoring nights lately because the Yankees have been going bonkers and, and whatnot. But placing fourth out of 100 is a top 4% lineup. You'll hear me preach about this as we go on. Let's see how that 206 would have done around the rest of the league because you're going to get into this smaller these contests are sometimes you run into great big scores that you can't compete with and a lot of sometimes you find really really soft ones that you beat the variance is inside these little contests as well learn how to handle it learn how to master it if we move on to the next contest here we find 206 would have been placed fourth would have actually placed second and would have won 15 bucks I would have profited on the day um, oh well got a little unlucky in the contest that I chose if I go to a 20-man league, top three play, pay, uh, the 206, granted didn't do well on this one, Porcello, 206, second place again. In fact, because I placed fourth in the 100-man, I was a top 4% lineup across the industry most likely, or very close to it, and one winner out of 20 is a top 5% lineup. I actually had a shot at winning this thing, and as you can see, the 206, had I put it in this league, had a shot at winning. It would have been second place, 10 bucks. That's more than the eight that I had. More bad luck. 206, almost a shot at winning. Second place again, more bad luck. And finally, just missed the money on this one, but 206 would have been third place because there were two decent scores in there that would have got me six bucks. So, you know, I, you'll find out that you, over the long run, you know, you kind of, you, you win some, you lose some. There's a little bit of variance in the slot that you fall. But if you build a top, you know, 15% lineup, you'll place in the top three of a 20-man lead quite often.
and you'll sneak a few out. You'll win a few. Uh, if you build a top, and the way you can tell what kind of percentage lineup you're building is getting these 100-man leagues. You know, one spot is 1%. If you win it, you built a top 1% lineup. Maybe we'll talk more about contest selection and how to break down uh, the pay structures of contests going forward. But generally speaking, a 1% lineup in a big GPP pays you about 10 bucks in a 20 or in a 100 man league it pays you 25 in a 20 man league it pays you 10 bucks so you're going to get paid a little bit better you're going to hit a 20 man league you're going to win it more often than you win a 20,000 man GPP i think that is common sense and you're going to win 10 bucks in either one if we're creating a top 1% lineup um to me i would rather take the 10 bucks more frequently because that's actually a top five percent lineup and I'm going and that's just really kind of min caching in GPPs I would rather make 10 x 10 times my return than two to three times my return in, and do it more often I'm gonna grow um, again having a little trouble articulating that but I hope it makes sense that getting in these smaller contests you're going to be up here at the top much more often because there aren't as many people in there therefore it takes a little bit lesser successful lineup to actually win these things. And our goal is to win. And in baseball, when it's such a volatile sport, you are you need to get paid this type of money on your investment to recoup the damage, like I was saying earlier, from the nights that you don't win. Um, if I placed first out of 20 people and was only in a double up, that's great because theoretically the top 10 pay. But if I don't finish in the top 10, you know, more than half of the time, it's a loser. And in baseball, I believe the variance is such that it's a loser. If I was you, I would rather be in a 20-man league where it pays the top three. You can find them that pay the top six. If that is something that feels even safer to you, you can build cash-type lineups in these tournaments You can or leagues. You can not worry so much about ownership because it doesn't matter too much at this, you know, with this small people number of people in the contest, even 100-man leagues. Cash lineups go off and produce a top 1% lineup that gives you a shot. A cash lineup doesn't very often go off and produce a top one-tenth of 1% 1 lineup in um, your big GPPs to win them because they're not uh, capitalizing on the upside enough. But they sure do win 20-man and 100-man leagues uh, quite a bit. So if you're struggling a little bit with how to allocate your, your contests and stuff, consider joining the DFS Army. Consider looking me up as maybe a coach. And I mean, it's your membership isn't going to change. I don't charge for my coaching. Um, follow me on Twitter at Chapodong. Um, come in, use the code WIN W I N for a free seven-day trial. Come check us out, talk to us, and get me to coach you a little bit on choosing better contests for yourself. And I can turn you into, you know, from a losing player into a winning player just by tweaking your bankroll management and your contest selection. There's a lot of people inside the army that have benefited. Uh, from talking on that level. It's really just a little bit different way of thinking about things. Hopefully this video showed you a little bit of that and is kind of cluing you in. So follow the link in the description below to dfsarmy.com and take a shot at us. Uh, in the meantime, what I ask you to do for me is click the thumbs up button, give me a like, uh, give me a subscribe, something like that so you get the latest info when I kind of start doing a little bit of this video blogging because it comes and goes in waves, and you'll find it on Twitter a little bit, but you'll also uh, get the first notification when a new video drops if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So um, thank you for the time, and hopefully we see you guys inside DFS Army where we hopefully end up doing a little bit more of this because I do believe this really helps some of you guys uh, get your heads on straight when you're learning the game of DFS. Take care.